Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I'm going to show you how to install a beer faucet, just like this one. I got the parts at Learn to Brew, and it consists of this shank with a threaded centerpiece here. It's got a washer, this nut. It's got an integrated tailpiece here. Now yours may not have one, and so you may have to buy a tailpiece. It's got this plastic ring here, which is, you know makes the front of the hole that I'm about to drill look pretty. And then there's this collar here that has these four holes around the outside and some internal threads. And this is what's actually going to hold the faucet to the shank here on the front of the door. There's an O-ring in here to help it seal. And you can see right down through it there. Tiny little hole, actually. But that's how that's going to go. And that's going to sit up right there. There's a special wrench to actually attach this. And then, of course, the door is going to go right here between the washer and this black flange. So I'll measure the shank here. You see it's 7 eighths of an inch. So I'll drill at least a 7 eighths hole, not more than an inch, up to this right here, this middle fat spot here on my step bit. We've got six holes marked, but I'm just going to do uh, this one here for now. And now I'll use that hole and a small bit on this to locate the inside and then come back at it with the step bit from the inside and drill through the plastic here in this top shelf. That way make sure my holes are, that pilot hole made sure my two holes were coaxial. All right, and then a little bit more here, up to seven eighths, and then deburr here with a little bit of the one inch. There we go. Okay, and then now I'm gonna insert the shank through the front of the door. I gotta remove this washer and nut first. Off the nut and the washer, and then I'll stick this through the front of the hole. Kind of tough. There, there it goes. It's fairly tight, which is good, I suppose. Get it through there, all the way there. And then I stick the washer and the nut back on really fast. And then I hold the nut, and then if I just turn the shank here, I can actually get that a little bit tighter. Now the faucet simply screws on like this, hold it vertical, and spin this little collar. You get it hand tight, and then that special wrench comes into play, like so. There, a little bit more. The little tooth in this end of the wrench goes in one of those four holes on the collar, and then you just tighten this little nut down like so. Hold that. It doesn't have to be super vertical at this point, because we're going to tweak that here in a second. Now I'll hold the faucet vertical on the outside and finish the inside with a wrench, just like so. And just like that, the faucet's installed. Now, I can go ahead and screw on my tap handle. And there you have it. Two little tap handles that I 3D printed. And of course, then when I install my third one, I'm gonna put it right here, just like so. And then I'll have three. Of course, I don't have an endorsement to use this one yet, but that's not really a big deal. This is just a kegerator. Installing a faucet and shank is as easy as that. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.